Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be creating a bar chart with scale using D3. Let's get started. So let's go on and just jump right into our um, JavaScript uh, function in here and we're going to go on and create up uh, our data in here and we're going to do something like 100, uh, uh, 400, 300, 900, uh, 560, and uh, 1,000. 1,000, why not? Um, and let's go on and also create up our width in here. Um, yeah, we'll make it 500. Um, our bar height in here will be 20. Our margin, we want to be 1. Uh, let me do bar here. And this isn't a comma, this is that. And actually I can, I guess we can do a comma. And if I get rid of this in here if we want. If you guys are more comfortable doing it that way. Um, so next thing, let's go on and create up our linear scaling. So var, and let's call this our scale, d3 dot uh, scale linear. Again, we'll make this a linear scale and we need to add in a domain. And it takes in a an array of the minimum and the maximum of your data range. So uh, d3.min of our data um, in here, and we'll do something like d3.max of the data. Okay, so again here we're using d3min and max functions uh, to grab the min and max of this data. Uh, then let's go on, and we'll, we'll use this here in in a little bit okay but we wanted to just kind of again that's kind of the main purpose of this video so we're getting it out of the way first is we're um, making our scale so the next thing is let's go on and create up our SVG in here and we want d3.select uh, we want the body then we're going to append an SVG and we want to go on and give it some attributes in here of our width uh, and whoops and our height um, bar height here uh, multiplied by our data dot length all right so we have our SVG created now we want to go on and make our group in here so SVG dot select uh, all here G for our group dot data of data uh, here we will enter our data we want to go on and append all of the G's as they are created then we want um, an attribute here for our transform uh, and here let's do Um, return in here we want to translate starting at 0 plus I multiplied by our bar height plus in here we will put or closing parenthesis and that should do it for our group now the next thing that we're going to want to do is go on and append in our actual rectangles themselves so uh, g dot append uh, rectangle uh, with what attribute do we want in here uh, we want our width in here with our function d and we want to return in here scale of d okay so it will put a proper linear scale on Okay, before we were having to do all kinds of a little bit of math in there and uh, making sure that it doesn't uh, mess with the pixelation and all of that stuff. But once we have this scale function created, okay, we will be, we're able to uh, deal with um, anything that may come our way in terms of size. Sometimes you may even need to scale uh, the Y axis as well. Right now we're just scaling um, our X axis because this is a bar graph. 
Um, and again, it's hor it's a horizontal bar graph. That that would be why. Um, let's also add in our height attribute. Uh, and here's a bar height um, minus our margin. Um, and our margin here is that one pixel margin. All right, and then the next thing we want to do is go in and add in text. So we'll do something like uh, g dot append uh, text um, dot attribute here x. Again, this is going to be a function of d where we want to return a um, tuple of our scaled data. Then we want an attribute here, y, again, of our bar height uh, divided by 2. We want our attribute in here of dy here. And again, we'll do this 3.5.5 em for emphasis. We want our text in here, a function d. Whoops. Uh, function D where we want to return D itself for our text. Um, now a couple things that we want to do in here before we get to that again, if I, if I go on and just refresh this, we see that it exists. Okay, but there's nothing here. Okay, well that's because we haven't gone in and added in any styling components to our um, uh, to everything. So we want our SVG, uh, we want our uh, rectangle. So let's do fill um, I don't know, uh, ooh, cornflower blue. That's nice. Uh, and then we also want our text. So let's do SVG text in here, and we'll do uh, fill. Let's do corn silk. Um, and then we want, what else do we want? What else do we want? What else do we want? Um, let's see. We want, let's do a font in here of 10 pixels. And again, we'll do sans serif. Um, and then it will do text anchor in here and we want to put it at the end. So now we should be able to run this. Whoop. And let's see where we're missing um, any of our data. All right, so we went on and created up our our div here. Okay, we not our div, but we created up our SVG. It's 500 by 120. We went on and created everything. And if you notice, nothing, none of the data seems to have been put in. So let's go back and see where we missed where we missed everything. Uh, we have, you know what, for some reason, got a sneaking suspicion in here. It's going to be right up here. Oh, okay. So a little, a little bit of nonsense that uh, we kind of went through. I was so focused on doing the domain. Um, I forgot to put in the range. Range in here. Um, we'll do something like uh, 50 to 500. Uh, all right, that's part of it. Uh, let's see how that did here. Still zeros. So let's go on and also double check where any other issues may have occurred. So here it says on line 23. 
line 23 of our code. So it's somewhere around here is where we're getting in our issues. So let's double check everything in here. So hmm, we have we have our append rectangle, we have our width, we have a return of our scale D, we have our height, bar height minus our margin. Did we create our margin? Yeah, we created our margin. Um, it says G is, oh, for Pete's sake, that's why. Okay, this is group here. I kept calling in our group um, tag G. This is group. Okay, again, I should have just read it outright. There we go. So now we actually have our um, our bar chart, again, using in the domain and range and our scales. Um, so again, here, we'll, we'll maybe next time we'll add in some interactive components to our bar charts and we'll start, we'll start kind of growing everything from there. Um, again, if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.